jaywalkers. Uh. Have you ever noticed that yeah. the people who jaywalk, when they're jaywalking, uh. and you know there tends yeah. to be a lot of traffic, and they tend to go in between cars and stuff, you know, death-defying stuff. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that they tend to be, you know, smoking uh. or you know, carrying some deathly equipment like, you know, kitchenware or something that they could trip on and, you know. I find that there are quite a lot of drunks that like to jaywalk on busy streets. Now, I know people jaywalk all the time and, you know, people actually care for their lives, you know. They wait until there's no cars at all and they, people usually use a stoplight if they care about their life. Let me paint a picture for you. I was in downtown Toronto on one of the busiest streets and I'm just waiting at the stoplight waiting for you know my go ahead to cross the street and uh, well I see this guy smoking and carrying a case of beer and you know the traffic's still going it's still really busy and you know the light hasn't even turned orange yet or yellow whatever depending on where you live and he decides to cross the street and you know downtown the taxi drivers they're um what's the word um is he i think that 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 pretty much sums it up and they uh don't really care and um yeah they tend to honk at you uh while they're like an inch from your leg um so yeah this guy just did not care he's smoking a cigarette and he's got his case of beer in the other hand and just casually like strolling he must be high on something because he doesn't seem to care that he could be hit by a car and uh to me this death defying act looked pretty hilarious to be honest and i know what you're thinking it wasn't so much hilarious that he was doing the death defying act but what popped into my head but what popped into my head was you think maybe they figure hey i already cut 10 years off of my life because i'm smoking why not take a chance you know huh let me play with that balls a little bit and uh you know if he likes it he'll let me live if not well i'm screwed sounds like fun doesn't it you know, maybe if death has a sense of humor, I'll tickle his balls a little bit, you know. You know, that would represent, you know, the taxi drivers being an inch away from the guy's leg and uh, almost running him over. Um, yeah, but, you know, some people like tickling and, you know, some people don't. So, you know, if death likes it, you know, maybe he'll just, you know, let the guy be. But if he doesn't, you know, yeah, you know what's going to happen. Seriously, why would you be that insane? to just tamper with your life like that. That's just... <sighs> I have no words, honestly. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> Psychotic. Huh, some other words that pop into mind, uh, sadistic, masochistic, because, you know, you could get hurt, and also you can get other people hurt, and, you know, just, um, you know, uh, not caring about anything, um, yeah. These are pretty interesting words popping into my head. Seriously. With all the years that we've been taught in school to look both ways and wait for the go-ahead to cross the street, there are still people that do the complete opposite and they act like they're God and um, like they are invincible. Yeah. It's just insane. Uh. I have a suggestion for, yeah. you know, improvement and uh, decreasing uh. the rate of deaths from jaywalking yeah. related incidents. Um, uh. There would be a sort of sensor in the air that if the traffic is going and it's not stopped, that a person who attempts to cross the street, they'd get a big pile of duty right on the head. And, you know, it could come from anywhere, it could come from a dog, it could come from a human, it could come from an, um, well, an elephant pile would just be too big. Um, it could come from a space station, at least, you know, it's kind of, uh, reducing the waste in space, <laughs> you know what I mean? Other thoughts include, um, maybe having some kind of drone that 
senses when people are going to jaywalk and speeds up towards them and slaps them in the face. Yeah. Now that's what I call smacking sense into someone. You know what would also be cool if there was some kind of like technology that could be like an invisible barrier that only goes down once the cars are stopped so people can actually cross the street and you know they wouldn't be hit by a car. They'd actually be hit by an invisible barrier in their face. They'd probably break their nose too, which would, you know, definitely show them that they shouldn't cross the street when cars are just, yeah. They'd, you know, attempt to walk, they'd put one foot off the curb and, you know, the barrier would be right there and they'd go forward and they'd just, and there you go. I kind of like that idea better, you know, entertainment for the whole family. Now if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you guys. Bye.